بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بدی نیم آف اللہ ویری کائنڈ اینڈ مرسی فول ویلکم ٹو ڈیو آف کنگ چینل ان دس چینل یو ویل فائنڈ دا سولوشن آف ڈفرینٹ ٹاسک اباؤٹ دا اے ڈبلو ایس اینڈ دور ڈیو آف ٹو ڈے آئی شیل کمپلیٹ دا فورتھ پارٹ آف اور سیریز اباؤٹ دا ڈاٹ ناٹ ایٹ بٹ اف یو کمپلیٹ آل دا فری اویلیبل کورسز آن دا ڈیو آف کنگ چینل یو ویل بی ایلیجیبل ٹو earn number of dollars from the upwork like you can see that you can even earn like 60 to 70 dollar per hour and moreover if you finish all the courses in detail and with full understanding you will be cap you have you will have capability of earning around about 150 per hour on the upwork so in today in part 4 i shall explain the cicd pipeline for dotnet 8 mvc app using github actions and azure vm part 4 if you need any help about the docker kubernetes terraform please contact on this whatsapp number and you may also message me on the devops king channel all videos on this channel are prepared by certified devops engineer let's start if you need any help please contact on this channel and moreover in order to see this channel on the youtube please use the word devops king you will find the channel devops king please click the subscribe button so that you can get the latest notification about the channels after this series we are starting the azure kubernetes series on this channel very important from the devops point of view so let's start in the part 4 of the series ci cd pipeline for dotnet 8 mvc app using github actions and azure vm part 4 now in order to understand fully this series you need to discuss practice all the parts of this series now in part 4 you need to apply this command cat home tds admin ssh id underscore rsc this is the private key we shall copy it and we shall use it in our ci cd for the github actions so by this command you will copy this private key from start to end now in the next step you will start up you will start from the this line beginning open ssh private and up to the next step like this one this one it is very important because i am explaining this private key this is very important if you leave a blank line at the end you will get the error of handshake so it is very important to copy the private key according to the instruction after this from the github come to the setting on the github click on the setting after that you will find the secrets and variables in the secrets and variables you will click the options like this one this option actions when you click on the actions on the right hand side you will find the green button like new repository secrets you will click on this button new repository secret when you click on this you will find the interface like this one this interface here you will write the name of the variable after that you will paste the value and at last you will add the secret click on the add secret button this is again this is most important that you only copy from the begin to the end line no more line and here 
राइट द नेम ऑफ द प्राइवेट की अजोर एस एस एच अंडर स्कोर प्राइवेट अंडर स्कोर की आफ्टर दैट पेस्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ द सीक्रेट दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेट दैट वी हैव कॉपी इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट बाय यूजिंग द कैट कमांड एंड आफ्टर दिस यू विल क्लिक ऑन द एड सीक्रेट बटन वैन यू क्लिक ऑन द एड सीक्रेट बटन यू विल सी दैट वी हैव एडेड अदर सीक्रेट्स एज वेल that we shall use in the cicd by using the github action the secrets that we shall use in this cicd are the azure private key ip of the hosting server user of the hosting server password of the hosting server and most important is the port vm port vm port for the ssh the port is 22 so you will also create the secret for the port these are the five secrets that we shall use in our ci cd so after adding this secret we shall in the next step we shall click on the actions now we shall add the yaml file for the ci cd so in this case when you click on the action button you will find the interface like this one this interface after the clicking on the action you will find this interface new workflow you will click on this button new workflow when you click on the new workflow we shall find the yaml file like uh, this one after that this interface will come you will click on the set up a workflow yourself you will click the option set up the workflow yourself so when you click on this option you will find the this interface this interface dot net eight, this is the name of the project github action dot github action workflows main dot yaml the main dot in the main dot yaml we shall add some code according to our requirement so in this case our the branch name is the main and the other one is about the pull request that i shall explain in the coming lectures about the pull request so in the next line we will start from the jobs our cicd will run on the ubuntu latest build server and after that build agent and after that we shall check out the latest code by using this step and moreover we are also including the .net 8 because our application is in .net 8 so we are adding the .net core sdk by using action setup dot net v2 after this there are more commands that we shall write in the main dot yaml now the next one are after 22 line we we are we are, we are restoring the project of dot net it after restoring the project we are building the project by using the configuration release at the last we shall publish the project we are publishing the project at the folder dot net publish folder so the last one is we are uploading the publish folder by using the action upload artifacts v4 so after uploading the artifacts now we shall in the deployment section of our deployment section we are again we are doing this on the build agent ubuntu latest needs mean we will use the build output build section output after that we shall download the file in the next step and moreover with the publish app we shall download this app and the last one is we are deploying the artifacts by for the deploying the artifacts we are using the apple boy ssi dot action v018 with host this is the azure vm ip and the username is the username of 
your hosting server and the next the last thing for the our yaml file is about the secret of the our private key next is the port and this is the script the script is listening content of the github workspace after that we say shall cd in the github workspace at, at last we shall copy these content on our required place on in which we have place our code on the ubuntu server at the home tds app in the app folder we are copying all the content after build so the next one is after adding all the code in the yaml file we shall click on the commit button this one when we click on the commit button our build start when our build start we shall check that our build completed successfully on this section we shall check that our build has completed successfully up to the commit of the yaml file when our build is successfully completed at the last we shall check our application by using the public ip of our hosting server our hosting server public ip is this one when we use this public ip in the browser we shall check that our application in dot net it is up so in this way today we have completed the part 4 this is the last part of our series for about the deployment of the of the dotnet 8 core application on the azure vm in the next series we shall upload the azure kubernetes series on the on this channel see you in the next series wish you good luck for your future